So I think a lot about the idea of the creative process, right? Like what happens to human consciousness when he is in a state of cognitive genesis, when a new idea is being birthed? And we hear a lot of people use the term no mind, right? Or get out of your own way. Or the only thing getting in your way is you. You know, people talk about getting into these flow states that silence the inner critic, you know, the lateral prefrontal cortex that is responsible for self-editing goes dim when you enter these liminal trance states of heightened creativity and manic geometries of associational thought where you decondition your thinking. And, you know, there is a kind of no mind when this happens. You know, I tell people that making art is like a kind of exorcism. You have to die and be reborn. And then when you are resurrected, then you're like, wow, look what I brought back. Look at my canvas. This is where I went. You know, our painting, our songs, our stories, they're maps for where we went. It's the equivalent of us like dropping little pebbles behind us as we trail towards new modalities of thought. The art is evidence. The art is what we brought back, what we transmuted from that other dimension to share with everyone else, to share with ourselves, to integrate, right? To upgrade ourselves, to expand the parameters of what is. As far as we can tell. <laughs>